Hello everyone and welcome to our return to Morial Survival Guide. We are doing a boss guide today. We're going to go defeat Warren of the Deep Orcs, which I have to say Warren is like the weirdest orc name ever, but sure. <laughs> so let's talk about uh, where you can find this boss fight. You're going to have to go to the Lower Deeps. And for me, it's kind of like, uh, well, I'll show you the map when we get down there, because we're actually in the Mines of Moria right now. But uh, it's not too hard to find. I always, for me, it always spawns kind of like earlier on uh, in the cave system. So that might be the case for you as well. You kind of just stumble upon it as you're digging through the different tunnels and whatnot. Um, we're going to quick eat a little bit of food here, make sure we're nice and nourished for this fight. Now for the equipment, uh, you don't really need anything too advanced. He's actually relatively easy if you follow the right strategy. I'm going to be fighting him with the first age sword as well as shield wall, which is like always my preferred kind of like shield, if you will, because it doesn't take any kind of durability damage. So I can just kind of hide under it. And Warren does not hit hard enough to break through your shield. So uh, I would recommend shield wall or some type of shield, I would say. Uh, I just like shield wall because I don't have to worry about the durability then. Uh, besides that, I would definitely recommend also bringing a brew skin with Scour Pilsner in it uh, because his attacks and some of the orcs around him, uh, they can kind of you just get past your armor and just deliver poison damage to you. So uh, having so a brew skin of Scour Pilsner, also very helpful. And then obviously having some health kind of uh, boosting items with you too, which we have the our, our trusty honey cakes here. But that is all we need, so we're just going to go ahead and go pay him a visit. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're going to go just to the lower deeps. Uh, and if you have fought uh, the previous boss whose name i'm blanking on unfortunately uh and i think he's in the mines of mori i believe uh the battle is very similar to that you kind of go to his stronghold you're going to find a bunch of orcs at the stronghold i have already cleared those out when i was um out getting some bite weed i had to restock my supply there and um once you get past that you'll find him in like in a little boss arena area and uh he will call forth like a bunch of orcs and stuff to to fight you too now, uh, our, the strategy that we're going to be using, uh, we're going to just focus on him with our with our, with our our sword and our shield. We're going to do our best. Sometimes, you know, that doesn't always work out because all the other orcs get in our business. But that's our plan. We're going to just uh, focus on him. And we're going to do, with our sword, we're going to do two swipes and then a block because it's usually about the time when he's ready to strike. So it's going to be like strike, strike, block, strike, strike, block. It's just what we're going to be doing the whole time. And that might seem boring, that might seem a little redundant, but that is honestly the easiest way to kill him. He's a pretty easy boss, in my opinion, if you do that. Now, obviously, things can go wrong, and the orc, other orcs might get involved. Just try to ignore them as best you can. Block, you know, when you see somebody swinging at you, and then just keep hacking and slashing at our friend. So, uh, for, for our guy, uh, we're going up north here a little bit. Uh, this is actually kind of like where, the, uh, where he was for my one of my other save files as well. So... Uh, might be the same case for you. If not, I'm sure he'll spawn pretty close to like the entrance to the lower deeps. So we're gonna go. We're gonna just kind of like <laughs> jog our way there because I don't want to waste too much of my energy in case I need that. Because like I said, you never know. Um, and then what we're gonna do as well is we're gonna drink the scour pilsner before we enter the fight because um, it's a little bit harder to do during the fight when you've got so many people coming at you. So drinking it beforehand is great because that'll get you immune to any kind of poison attacks that they want to do. So here it is. Like I said, I've cleared this area out. You might have to take the time to do that yourself. Uh, I always recommend clearing the place out first and then you can um, uh, get yourself repaired and all that with your items, your weapons, your, your armor, and then go in for the actual boss fight. Uh, just because it's a little bit nicer that way. Alright, we have our Scour Pilsner. We're good there. I'm just going to equip what I need to equip right now. We're fortified. It should last us through the uh, the boss fight, so I'm not too worried about that. And he won't be able to attack us with his poisoned weapon. So there might be some guys out here. We're just going to ignore them. We're going to go right for the fight as soon as we can. If we can get there anyway. Where are you at, Warren? Which is really like, it's just such an unfortunate name for for an orc. <laughs> like, like, Warren. Alright, it might not be here. We might find him. Oh, I have the little, uh, the little hallway there that's showing up on our map now. 
And then one thing I should have done, which I didn't, you don't have to, you can if you'd like, I would recommend it, is to quickly do like a hero spirit, which actually if we honor this, we might actually get that. So let's just quick do that as well. There we go. Just to give us a little bit more of an edge in the battle as well. And obviously you can always buff yourself out. You can have some evening ale, which might give you like a, like an orc hunter buff or something if you're lucky. Uh, but we're just going to go in as we are. A little bit of hero spirit fortified from our Scar Pilsner. And we're going to go fight orcs. our warren friend here. So we're just going to do this. Now he kind of like yells the whole time. So you can get like a number of swipes in while he's doing this. Uh, and at this point, this is where we're going to start doing our hit, hit, and block. And hope that these guys don't decide to get themselves involved. But you can see it's really this easy. Like, he's very... His... his the way that he fights is very predictable. Which makes this fight really easy, in my opinion. Just as long as you have, like, weapons that will do a decent amount of damage. Like, we're doing 15 to him, which is pretty okay. It's not the worst weapon. And he's dead! And, they're all, and then they all run away. So then we can collect the stuff from him. We got silver ore, rubies, Numenarian cloth, silver ingots, Shinor ingots, which is great, black diamonds, amethyst, and coin. Now, before you leave, I would definitely recommend going to the middle because much like the other boss fight, there are two chests here for you to claim. And there's a number of delicious things in here. Like we have some more black diamonds, some more coins for our treasure hoard, which I really need to make, to be honest. More amethyst, more rubies, more Shinor, Shinor ingots and then more silver ingots and then if we open up this chest we're gonna find the same things so we're just gonna take all right there and that is it that's how easy the fight is so uh, i would say definitely at, at the very least have like a tier three weapon um doesn't have to be the, the sword it could be whatever weapon you know you prefer to use just make sure it's at least tier three i would say uh, and then have a sword or a shield of some sort. Like I said, I always love shield wall. That's like just my fave. <laughs> it's just so nice to have a, uh, a shield that I don't have to worry about breaking on me. And uh, for armor, like I just have Erebor armor on, which is just tier two. And I didn't even like he didn't even hit me once, so I didn't really didn't even really need to to worry about that. Uh, and because we have our we drank our uh, Scour Pilsner, if he did hit us, we don't have to worry about him poisoning us in the process so that's amazing we love that i'm gonna grab the, i'm gonna grab some more bite weed on the way out but that's about it that's the warren boss fight it's pretty easy just kind of uh do what you do let me know what your uh, preferred strategies are because i would love to hear it um, but other than that thanks so much for watching guys i will see you the next one until then keep surviving and keep thriving